Hi, my name is Amarachi Wanpa. I'm a family physician and there's a devotional thought I'd love to share with you today. Let's start in Psalms 43 verse 5. Psalms chapter 43 verse 5 says, Why art thou cast down, O my soul, and why art thou disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall yet praise him who is the health of my countenance and my God. You know, have you ever encountered a situation where you've done everything that God has asked you to do and yet you have an unfortunate outcome or a disappointment or things just don't work out the way you thought they would? I like to look at the experience of Joseph. Now, when you look at Genesis chapter 37, you see Jacob telling Joseph to go check on the welfare of his brothers. And Joseph was obedient. Uh, he did exactly as he was told, but when he got to his brothers, he wasn't greeted with hugs and kisses and, and happiness. He was actually thrown into a pit and almost left for dead, but then, maybe even worse, sold into slavery. Now, once he's in slavery, in Genesis chapter 39 says that he's done, he did everything that God uh, asked him to do in terms of uh, following uh, the, the, his commandments to the point where even with his master's wife, when his master's wife was tempting him, he didn't, uh, he didn't go against what God had told him. He actually followed what God had said and didn't yield to the temptations of his master's wife. But yet he ended up in prison. Now, when he's in prison, he, again, is faithful in the duties that he has, even going the extra mile to the point where he helps the butler and the baker. He interprets their dreams. He, he sees when they're sad. He goes to comfort them. And when he interprets a dream of the butler, he says, please remember me. I, I want to get out of here. Just please remember me when you get out of this place. And the Bible is so specific. In Genesis chapter 41, verse 1, it says at the end of two full years, that's when Pharaoh had his dream and everything kind of turned for Joseph. Do you ever wonder why the Bible is that specific? It says at the end of two full years. I think it's to show us a picture of Joseph's life where he was probably close to the point of giving up. I mean, think about all the things that he'd been through, leaving home one day just thinking he's checking on his brothers, only to end up as a slave, only to end up in prison only end to end up seemingly forgotten by all intents and purposes. But I think Joseph knew the essence of that verse um, that, we, that we read in Psalm chapter 43, verse 5. He understood that he didn't need to be disquieted. He didn't need to be cast down. The key is that he hoped still in God. You know, still in Genesis chapter 41, when he goes before Pharaoh, he's able to give glory to God, saying that God is going to answer Pharaoh and give an answer to his dreams. And he also says that God will give an answer of peace. Do you think Joseph would have been able to give an answer of peace if he himself was anxious, if he was distrusting of God, if he was just wasting away in disappointment and discouragement? You know, there's a saying that says you cannot give what you don't have. When we interact with our patients, sometimes we try to encourage them, we try to boost them, we try to give them hope. And sometimes because of the circumstances in our lives, we're lacking that same hope. And I just want to encourage you, if you are going through a time where maybe you've done everything that God has said, everything that you know to be right, and still you're having outcomes that are disappointing, to trust in God. Maybe you're saying, you know what, God, you told me to go to medical school and I'm here and I'm struggling more than other people. I'm barely passing my tests, if at all. Where are you? I encourage you to trust and hope in God. Maybe you said, you know what, God, I've, I've eaten all the things you told me to eat and I didn't eat the things that you told me not to eat, and yet I'm still sick. And I encourage you that even in that disappointing circumstances to hope and trust in God. Maybe you're going through another circumstance where uh, things just aren't working out for you. And I just want to encourage you to hope and trust in God. Today, you may be wondering if there is a way out if there is a light at the end of the tunnel, and I want you to look at the experience of Joseph. It did take a time, but sometimes we don't understand God's ways. Sometimes we don't understand his timing, but he has promised to work everything out according to his will and in a time and a way that's even better than we anticipated. So I encourage you today, if you're struggling with disappointment, if you're struggling, maybe you've lost hope, I encourage you to read Psalms chapter 43, verse five. Don't be cast down, don't be disquieted. Hope and trust in God. God bless you.